Yo, what up? It's your boy Philly Filthy Rich. What's good? It's your boy Boom. You are now tuned in to Philly Fame TV. Philly Fame, what up? Yeah. Alright man, so Filthy Rich, I mean we definitely had you on here a few times now yeah, up to sure. this point. Boom, we had you on here like a minute ago, like back when we first starting out. So for a lot of our new viewers, this might be their first time seeing you on here. So we just gonna do a brief little recap. You know, Filthy Rich, you basically was telling us last time you was on here, or the first time you was on here. I mean, you was running around doing your thing beforehand. You caught a charge, ended up going to the feds, did your time, came back home, got heavy back into the music scene. Yeah. Now for Boom, a lot of people might remember you from the Pop a Perk joint. I mean, that Jones popping on the internet, popping on the radio. You did the remix and all of that. So yeah, because we did Filthy Rich a couple times, start with Boom. Let's get into that a little bit. How was that experience for you coming up with the Pop a Perk joint? Even though people knew you as a comedian, but you was rapping beforehand, and then you end up with that joint that popped off, and you did a remix yeah. with E40 and who else? French Montana was on that joint. So give them that whole run, little brief rundown about your backstory up to this. You know, I did time too. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh well, yeah, I know that. Well, yeah, he ain't know one at that time, man. I did 18. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I did 18. You know what I'm saying? It was rough, but you know what I mean, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all don't know. You know what I mean, 18. Not years, not oh. months, you know what I'm saying? I did 18 hours, you know, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it was rough, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know what I mean? You know what I do, everybody ain't no secret what I do, you know what I mean? Yeah, I pop them yerkies, you know what I'm saying? Every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Nigga got locked up, and I was in there, man, down there that just that brought out The 35th? Yeah, I was down there, man, had me down there, man, that's the dirtiest. Ain't no place for no human being, man. <laughs> No, it's just not, man. There ain't no place for no human being. Especially when you're on them things, man. I needed something so bad. They had me in that thing for 18 hours. Man, that thing was crazy. You know what I'm saying? We getting it in though right now, man. Like up my boy Filthy Rich, you know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody know me, Mr. Pop Perk, you know what I'm saying? West Side representative. I mean, we throwing it big right now, man. Right, right, right. And off the strip of that, I see you was doing a lot of running around and stuff on the strip of that song. And then Filthy Rich come back home, get back in the mix, and eventually y'all guys linked up and start doing music and stuff together. So let's speak a little bit on that. Like, how y'all end up connecting you the comedian, funny boy, he the guy coming from the, from jail, from the streets. Like, how y'all end up connecting and start working together? Kind of, kind of, kind of linked us up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the OG, man. You know what I'm saying? He linked up a lot of people in the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Cosmic Cab linked us up. You know what I mean? It was on. We made Watussy. And came back and beat another track um, called Pokemon. That's gonna be in a um, soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, which is it, man. You know what I'm saying? We did a couple songs together. You know what I mean? Start vibing. You know what I mean? And pretty much when you build a relationship, you just can't build relationships with anybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I look, I look at character and everything, man. Rich a good dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean, got a good heart and everything. You know what I mean? And we just linked up. Early, early. And one of your most recent projects that we gonna get into that y'all collabed on is this movie The Bid. I mean it really, you know what I mean, y'all put some of the clips up, some some of the uh the artwork and stuff like that and they got a whole crazy response. A lot of people reposting, a lot of people talking about it. I really don't know what to do, man. It's real life, man. Like why are you always playing, man? Tech dog, baby. Hey, 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 hey. Yell in my face one more time, I had Mustafa knock and clean off that chair. With over 10 million followers combined on social media, BNR Films brings to you Prison. From the dead. Do you know how to beat by you a cell, man, cell, man. You some type of freak. God. Comedy. You the reason I move. Drama. Please be over there, no say so I hold me down. Philly, New York shit. Don't you ever let these Philly niggas violate you like that? What the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah, we just, I gotta get it on my ass, but. I used to love snacks. Look at my teeth. Survival. Oh, Boom about to get us killed in here any day. I'll leave your wife, mate. But your daughter. My daughter, what? Mm. I can't.
the bid coming soon. So let's get a little bit into the movie. Like y'all, y'all basically the the head guys behind it, far as writing it, producing it, bringing it to life. So let's give them the rundown on that. How y'all come together with the idea, the characters, and all that. Give them the whole story. Well, the bid. I thought of it like a couple years back, and I was doing the comedy thing, and like you know what I'm saying, like when I when I start like writing it back, well, I, it was like a big thought process. Like before I start writing, like I think about it for like for like a couple months until I get it down pat. Like you know what I'm saying, and I just thought it'd be dope to do to do a movie with all the funniest people in the city. Like you know what I'm saying, so when um. Me, after me and Rich was doing, laid a couple songs together, you know what I'm saying? We were just hanging out, and he just was like, man, let's do something dope, like, you know what I'm saying, for the city. And at first we thought of a stage play, and, like, you know what I'm saying? We was, I was gonna write that. Then we just came together, was like, man, let's do a movie. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I told him, like, man, I got the perfect drum. John called the bid. And, and I told him about the idea I would want to do, like, bringing everybody together, like, you know what I'm saying? And he actually, while he was inside, took a couple classes, like on writing scripts and everything. So like, he just was telling me just to just send scenes over, send the scenes over, and he touched them up and added the transition. So it was just like a one-two punch, man. You know what I'm saying? I added the funny, and he just came with the professionalism, man. And and it all it all came out good. All right. And not only did y'all get like some of the funniest dudes in Philly in this job. But y'all got some of the funniest guys on, on the internet right now, period. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so speak on some of the uh, the guest appearances and stuff y'all got how It came about to get some of these guys and, and actually work with some of the funniest dudes in the world, pretty much. Well, when we when we when we was uh when we was doing the script when we was doing it first, we was just like we were just really focusing on Philly. So then um. As the project start developing, we realized like this could be a little bigger than Philly. So we said let's reach out like outside of Philly and people in um, you know, different areas. But with Boom, he already in that comedy bag. So he got relationships with the uh, with the comedians and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? All the Instagram comedians, they pretty much well right now we tied a lot of them together, so they got like really tight relationships with each other. They all can get in touch with each with each other, you know what I'm saying? So boom. Boom, we just sat down, we talked about it. Boom follows them and know more about the comedians and shit than me. So he just was like, yo, we should get someone so. So I'm like, see what's up, get in touch with him. You know what I'm saying? See what we gotta do to make it happen. So we got most of the people we want, some of them we didn't get, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's pretty much how it happened. We sat there, we just it just the plan just got broader as we was going in. It was just Philly first, but then we broadened it. We even reached out to like dudes down Baltimore and the Carolinas and shit like that. But uh, the Baltimore shit blew up at the last minute. Um, the Carolinas and them niggas down there, we ain't get no response, but we were just reaching out, man, just DMing motherfuckers, man. So, you know what I'm saying? And going from there. So getting a rundown about some of the people that y'all did uh, manage to get in the movie and put it in. <coughs> well, that's, that's outside of Philly. We got Ha Ha Davis. He from Detroit and shit, so he flew in, showed love, knocked his parts out and shit. Like, and then we got um from up top from New York, we got Mr. Commodore. He from Harlem. I think he from Harlem, but he ain't Harlem. Yeah, he from up there and shit. So he came. We went up there, hollered at him. Court from New York too. Yeah, Court. Shout out to Court. And um, they came down, did they thing, and then we got um, we got um, Chan. Got oh, yeah, we got Chink, yep, we went over the bridge, got Chink, Chink came and did his thing, so we just was reaching out, man, like, you know what I'm saying, we, just, we was on our octopus joint, just reaching out all over, and that's, and that's, when, that's how it came about. Right, right, so, I see y'all got it as the bid, meaning a prison movie, so what made y'all decide to go with that particular type of movie? Well, uh, like, the, the prison, like, I wanted to write a prison prison movie just for the simple fact, like, there's not a lot of prison movies. Like, they, they come about around, like, like every 10 to 15 years. Like, like before life, after life, it was probably, like, like one. And I can't even name, like, name a prison movie after life. 
and except for like um, the Pablo Escobar stories and like stuff like that, the Elliot and JJ joint. But before that, like the comedy prison movies would probably go all the way back to like Richard Pryor, man. Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby. No, not Bill Cosby. Was he in the prison movie? No. Probably just like Richard Pryor. Yep, in the, in the movie Penitentiary. Yes, there's only a handful of Penitentiary movies like out there and, and like, that's why like I wanted to do something different and not just like a regular street movie or just a regular comedy. I wanted to do a prison comedy and make it yeah. dope. And, 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 and when, he, when he threw it out there, I thought it was dope because gathering the whole cast together and bringing and making a storyline and really pushing it and putting them all in, in one movie, that was the best. That was that was that's what made it all like a green light to me. I'm like, okay, we can put everybody in the prison because there's several inmates in the prison. So, you know what I'm saying? It was easy to bring it together and just it was the perfect concept for this type of project. Because yeah, you want to like when you do a big project like that with so many comedians, you wanna you just don't want to just throw everybody in the movie. Like you know what I'm saying? Like so we had to find a way to write the script and bring everybody together and. And when you got that many personalities, like you know what I mean, on one on, on one one movie, you gotta you gotta think of a movie that can tie everything together. And what place other than prison that got thousands of different personalities every day. So it like kinda worked out good and and it, it, it's dope, man. We did a dope thing. Now, gotta add this because it's you know it's like it says a jail movie, so you can have everybody in there as inmates all at one time. So what was it like shooting on set with all these different characters, personalities, and all like what's what's a day like? How many outtakes? Like what just explain a little bit of that, like. Man, we worked around some fools, man. Like, I swear like after almost every scene like we shot, like everybody, because we all come from shooting, like doing skits all day, every day. So between scenes, man, everybody was getting together, doing skits with each other. Like, like we, we wanted to see that, like everybody working with each other, like you know what I'm saying? Because it was like for the first, like, for the first time, it was other comedians meeting other comedians and yeah. the way they was embracing each other was dope, man. Yeah, that's what I liked it, right? And, like they was making some fun. A couple of them skits went like, like a little viral, man, that they was doing. So it was just funny just watching everybody, man. And the funniest boy I, I see, man, is probably, um, well, Mr. Con, I like Mr. Commodore, man. Like he, he's naturally funny. When he came on set, it was, it was, it was, it was great, man. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I like, um, like we had like Danny Diamonds. I liked his character. Like he showed up. Like he surprised me, but he did his thing. Um, Lord A Town, Jew, Southside Jew, um, who mirror, Buck One Hundred. Like these motherfuckers crazy, man. This shit funny as shit, man. So I, I'm, I'm proud of all of them, man. You know what I'm saying? I go to bat with my cats any, any day of the week, man, against anybody. I'm proud of all of them, man. And I, I just want to say this, man, like a lot of, we, we saw a lot of comments, like with people, like like saying why this person wasn't in it, why this person wasn't in it, and oh. like a lot of people got mad because like, I mean, there was a lot of people like pissed off that they get, didn't get a lot of burn in the movie. But like we gave everybody, we reached out to almost everybody. Some people we did forget, I'm not gonna lie about that. But and like we did um, a casting call. Yeah, we did a casting so call telling everybody to come out. Came. Yeah, we, we did a public casting call at the Marriott on City Line Avenue. And when we when we got on set, we told everybody, the more burn y'all wanna get in the movie, y'all come. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the more they cause it's prison. Like we need people all the time. Like you know what I'm saying? That's what I basically was telling everybody, just come down. Like if you don't think you're getting enough scenes, come down. And like we, so we gave that opportunity out, like to everybody. I just wanted to throw that out there. And another thing I want to throw out there, when we did the casting call, what people don't know, everybody that came to the casting call was in the movie. We didn't turn nobody away. You know what I'm saying? We embraced everybody. If somebody came to the casting call and they wasn't in the movie, it's because something came up on their end where they couldn't, you know what I mean? Coincide with our schedules. But everybody that came out, we they in the movie. So anybody to me, anybody that's not in the movie is because they didn't want to be in the movie. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Now let's speaking on the release date set for January 11th, top of the new year. So let them know 
how it's going to be um, put out. Y'all said y'all going to do the movie theaters first here in Philly, locally in Philly. Yeah. So for the people that's tuned in that's not from Philly and they want to see the movie, how would they go about seeing it? What would what, what the release date be for that? First plug the movie theater um, screen and all that, and then for the digital um, platforms or whatever. Um, January 11th, the release date right now, the, the theater we got secure is uh, the Movie Grill Studio, Movie Grill, 69th Street. We waiting for uh, we had to go to corporate for AMC. We waiting for to get a, get a uh, uh, a response from AMC theaters. So if that should come back and all that play out right, it'll be a, a Franklin Mills on Broad Street. Right now we talking to the uh, AMC over Cherry Hill. So um, I think it's gonna be over there. But matter of fact, I'm almost sure it's gonna be over there. So. That's what the theater run, but 69th Street is the one that's showing us the most love right now. Like everything locked and loaded. Like we ready to just, we ready to just pull the city up that joint and go crazy. But I, w- I want to um, get that AMC shit solidified so people can have options. To, you know what I'm saying? It might be more convenient to go here or here or here for different people. So once again, just trying to put on for the city and make the situation comfortable as possible because other than, like the ticket is in hot demand. You know what I mean? And what about as far as digitally, y'all plan on putting it on YouTube at some point or well, one of those type platforms for people to get it that's not from Philly? Well, yeah, eventually we're going to have to do something, but right now we we trying to um, secure a Netflix situation. So we, we got like an aggregator right, that we're looking at and we're trying to like just bang it out to Netflix after we get it out to theaters. That way everybody can get to it. But if not, we have to do a different route. We do Hulu, we do Amazon. We, I mean, it's options. He's trying to get it out there, man. Ain't nothing off the table. We just grinding, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We, we gonna just, we, I guess we'll sit down with somebody that got a little more knowledge and experience than us in this type of field. And maybe they have schoolers and give us some direction with the hand we got. So that's how we carry it. All right. All right, so in the meantime, y'all can plug y'all info, y'all Instagram, and whatever else social media so people follow y'all, stay updated. With the, with the movie as well as the music we ain't even get too much into that but we can get into that after y'all plug y'all info because y'all also got a lot of music together as well as the moves y'all been making as far as i've been seeing y'all at black parties and all type of places performing now y'all got the movie so go ahead plug y'all y'all, y'all info i'm bone 39 b-o-o-n-e 39 you know what i'm saying catch me on there doing my thing you know what i'm saying my gram is uh 215 filthy rich all together, just like this, just like it sound. Two one five Philly version. And um, music, we got a soundtrack that we like. We got we got a dumb soundtrack that we about to drop. But uh, right now, man, I was just talking about that shit earlier. We don't know if we gonna drop it the day of, a week before, <laughs> a couple days after. We we met him going like we we trying to figure that shit out now. Dope music, man. Music so dope. So do y'all got like people from the city on there, or is it y'all? Like how the soundtrack? On the soundtrack? Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's it's man, this shit. We got we got another artist that that's uh from the city named Key. Shout out to Key. He stepped up, got his joint on there. We got a joint on there by the um the dude who edited the movie, who's also our producer, Jay Strong. But he's an artist as well, so we got a track on the joint with him on there doing his thing. And um, that's what it is right now. We got room for one more. But it just gotta make some sense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Alright, anything else y'all wanna speak on before we get out of here? Let the people know, address, clarify. Well, January 11th, man. As you can see up here, man. All the people we got in the group. We got Got You Cracking the F up. Hi Hi Davis, Mr. Commodore, Chank Capone, Exotic W2. We got Buck 100. We got the real Q Raw, Funnies in Philly, A Town, Southside Q, Asia K's, Danny Diamonds, BSF Boo, you know what I mean? We got Safe Who Hop, the real Muslim director, you know what I mean? Geek Funny and Sean, Tiz215, Sheen Maze, Miss True Diva, Woo Biddy, Woo Biddy, I'm not sure. shout out to Woo you know Biddy, I'm not know. five feet, Molly Cobain, Rizzy Wreck, man, we coming, man. We got, we got a lot of people in here, man. We got a lot, like, we coming. Man, shout out to Creek Forge, OT the Real, you know what I'm saying? Pesci, 8 Gang Garcy, KP, yeah. 8 Gang Garcy, what's up? That's my nigga, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to AR Ad, Free Ad. And um, the thing with Ad was crazy is he was supposed to uh, do a scene in the movie and shit. 
and he got knocked off. He's supposed to do it that Saturday. He got knocked off that the week of, so we didn't get to get him in the joint. But he was coming out. He was like, it was pretty much wrapped up. So as like he was in his bag, like, oh, how y'all wanna do this? And don't put me in there. So we opened up a little spot because he was right. We reached out to him, but the shit ain't work out. But he was right, so we opened up the camera and shit and created a little spot for him. We tried to, but he got knocked off. But shout out to Ad, man, free Ad, that's my guy. And um, I want to close it out with um, the official trailer. Link in our bios. You can peep the trailer, the, um, the teasers and shit. Um, all the Instagram comedians that's in the movie, they um, they act and they Instagram Jones is going to be in the credits. If, if anybody want to reach out to them, if y'all want to hire them for any acting, uh, promotion, anything y'all might want to do with them, all their credits, is, I mean, all their Instagram handles is going to be in the credits. So y'all can DM them, y'all can DM them directly. And um, and we got merch coming, man. Like, you know me? You see, you see the drip, yeah, man. So nice, man. We got merch coming, look out for that, man. We gonna, we gonna throw the website out there where y'all can get that from. And we just grinding, we turning up, man. And we gonna, you know what I mean? That's what it is. I'm not. Oh no, I got something before we get out of here, yeah, man. man. Like, I, I, well, I got something for you, boo, before we get out of here. Like, how do you feel, I mean, when you hear Cat Williams now say, man, fuck Philly. I heard you say what the joke was like, oh, fuck with Philly. Fuck Philly and all this. Yeah, he said fuck boo. Yeah, he don't fuck with Philly, like. <laughs> Cat Williams say he don't fuck with Philly, dog. And, and, I, and, like, and I can't you know, help but, no, yeah, he like, said that like something before. And I can't help but think like, that that, that boo had something to do with that, man. And ain't disrespectless like that? Yeah, man, after the little situation, they say he don't fuck with Philly, bro. Yeah, that's why I told you, man. But, like. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk about it, man. You know what I mean, shout out to Cat Williams, man. You know what I mean, ain't no love lost, man. man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no love lost, man. We love you, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. That's yeah. all I can say about that, man. You know what I mean? And um, <laughs> at the premiere, we're gonna try to bring the whole cast to the premiere, man. So come out, man. We're expecting to see the whole city there. Um, Philly fame, y'all coming, right? Y'all gonna interview yeah, all the yeah, cast and shit sure. like that. So you bring the camera out to there, man. And um, we just looking forward to the premiere. I don't know. I don't even sound cocky, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? This, is, this thing is the best movie coming out of Philly in a long time, man. Probably ever. You know what I mean? After Rocky. But I'm putting it out there now. I wish this was tea so I could bring my tea and like that. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Shout out to Philly Fade, man. I'm out, man. Yeah, you know, man.